it, which of the following statements about atomic structure is not right? This, this is in science. Letter A, atoms are mostly empty space. Letter B, most of the mass of the atom is concentrated in its nucleus. Letter C, all atoms of the same atomic numbers are atoms of the same elements. Letter D, an atom can gain or lose electrons without changing its charge. Let's take a look at our slide, the next slide that we have. And let's discuss the three subatomic particles. Meron po tayong tatlong subatomic particles. Pag sinasabi pong subatomic particles, these are the different parts of the atom. Okay, so yung subatomic particles natin are electrons, protons, and neutrons. As you can see, electron here is colored gray, your proton is colored red, and your neutron is colored blue. Now, they are different in terms of unang-una, magkaiba po yung charge nila. Yung proton nyo po, yung charge na ay positive. Okay, so protons are positively charged, electrons are negatively charged, and neutrons, dahil nga sa pangalan niyang neutron, it is neutral, it has no charge. Now, another difference in their case would be the location. So, pag tinignan mo yung iyong atom, magkaiba din ang kanilang location. Sa nucleus, sa gitna ng iyong atom, yung makikita mo lamang would be your protons and your neutrons. Okay? Only protons and neutrons are those that are found in the nucleus of the atom. Your electrons are not found in the nucleus. The electrons are found in what we call the electron shell, the energy shell. So, your electrons are very energized. Yung pag meron pong chemical bonding, it is the electrons that play part in the chemical bonding, hindi po yung protons, hindi po yung neutrons. So, electrons are not found in the nucleus sa gitna ng ating atom. Now, there is also a difference in terms of their mass. Yung proton nyo po at yung neutron, halos magkapareho yung mass. Although, pag titignan, yung pinaka... Um, mabigat sa kanila would be the neutrons. Yung neutrons po yung pinakamabigat sa kanila. But your protons also has have mass. Now, your electron is is very light. The mass is negligible. So, wala po siya halos ng mass. So, yung nakaka-apekto uh, po, the, the ones that would affect the mass of your atom would be the proton and the neutron. Now, again, as I have mentioned, whenever there is chemical bonding, whenever the charge of your your atom would change, it is the electron that plays part on it. So, for example, in this case, nakikita ninyo, meron tayong dalawang electrons, meron din tayong dalawang protons. So, the charge is negative 2, and then you also have positive 2. So, that means your helium atom here is stable. Stable siya, neutral siya, wala siyang charge. Okay? Wala siyang charge dahil meron siyang dalawang negative, meron din siyang dalawang positive. Pero, pag nawala itong isang electron mo, that means may sobra ka, nina, ka ng isang, isang positive charge. So that means magiging positive one na ang charge ng iyong atom. If you gain another electron here, pag nag-gain ka naman ng another electron, that means dalawa lamang iyong protons, tatlo na ang iyong electron, magiging negative one naman yung charge ng iyong atom. So that means whenever your atoms would lose or would gain electrons, the charge would change. Okay, the charge would change. All right, so we go back to our question. The question again is, which of the following statements about atomic structure is not right? Atoms are mostly empty space. Tama po yan sa nakita ninyo. Yung nucleus would be at the center of the atom. Sa palibot ng nucleus mo is empty space, and then you have the electrons just flying around it. Most of the mass of the atom is concentrated in its nucleus. That's correct. Protons and neutrons play part in the mass of your atom. All atoms of the same atomic numbers are atoms of the same elements. That's also correct. So your correct answer here, which is not right, it is letter D. An atom can gain or lose electrons without changing its charge. Okay, so that part, that part is wrong. An atom can change or lose electrons without changing its charge. That means whenever your atom loses or gains electrons, nag-change po ang kanyang charge. Okay, so letter D would be the correct answer. 